Hey guys, Tim here. I've been meaning to make an update video on my G Drive controller that I designed over here. Um, I've been using it for the last year and it's really come in handy for me and I've had the opportunity to uh, think about it a lot and I've added an arsenal of features to it that really is, uh, is pretty cool. But first, uh, so I'm, I'm going to make a video about all the latest stuff that I've done to it, but first I wanted to do this video because this one particular feature that I've added, um, I'm excited about it. It's kind of cool. It's going to save me a lot of time. It's going to make my life easier. So I wanted to get your opinion to see what you thought about it. But this video is about tapping threads. Um, now I, I do a lot of work like this. Now, this is a plate in here, and I don't have one of those tapmatic, you know. I'm just doing, I'm just tapping the threads manually. And um, so the G drive over here is not going to automatically tap the threads, but what it's going to do is it's automatically going to position the work over each hole for me. So that's going to save me a lot of thinking and a lot of time. And then I'm just going to manually, you know, tap the threads with this thing in low, you know, with the speed turned down as, as low as it'll go in the low gear drive and uh, I guess one day maybe I'll get one of those Tapmatic drives. I don't know how much they cost but I heard they were a little pricey. Uh, but anyway, um, let me show you how this works. So this plate, this plate is a plate that goes inside one of the products that I manufacture. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes on this thing. Now, some of these holes are through holes, but most of them need to be tapped with 440 thread, and, and some of them need to be tapped with 632 thread. So, this new application that I've created for the G drive, it allows me to recall a previous uh, program that I wrote that actually drilled all these holes in the correct spots but it allows me to recall to recall that program in a special mode and so it's just gonna take me to the next hole take me to the next hole I can tap it manually take me to the next hole and so on so let's check it out that's my 632 tap chucked into the chuck there so I'm just gonna tap a few 632 holes just to show you real quick. Now I'm already sitting here at zero. I've already located zero on the part in the corner up there. I mean in this example I'm just doing one part but you know the idea here is to try to help you be more efficient producing multiple panels. So you would have some kind of a jig set up there so you could just corner the part in and once you get done with one easily slip the next part in there and it's already of course positioned at zero. Okay so the program that I had previously whipped up to automatically drill the holes in this plate was operation number 32. I call programs operations in the G drive. So normally you would go here to recall an operation but the new application here is this next one recall operation tap mode so this recalls the very same operation that was originally used to drill the holes but it, it won't attempt to redrill the holes of course that part is already done now it's 
the software is looking for any drill elements within the program and will simply enter the pause mode when it encounters one. You can then manually tap the threads into the hole and then press the enter key when you are finished to move on to the next hole. What's cool about this is that you didn't have to spend any time, you know, to create like maybe a new program for assistance with tapping the threads with these holes. Now, this feature didn't cost you any time at all, but it helps you out. Let's check it out. So I'm going to recall operation 32. Now that's loaded and all we have to do to get that going is to press the go key. Moving over to the first hole and it just simply enters pause mode and uh, you know you can see I'm directly over tap just goes down perfectly in there so lined up didn't have to think about it that's what I like so you know you've got that rotary forward and reverse switch on the front of the grizzly there uh, obviously you got to be in forward with it slowed all the way down, you just put a little bit of pressure there and the, the tap will catch and go down in there and then you can let go and it just sucks down in there by itself. I'm sure I could go a little bit faster than that too, but then you got to stop it in reverse directions with that rotary switch and then turn it on and then you can speed it up to get it out of there a little bit faster. And then you just touch enter to move to the next hole. And if it stops on a hole that you didn't need to tap, uh, you just touch enter again and it just moves to the, you know, the next hole. Yeah, I was thinking, um, maybe I should redesign that circuit board that goes into the Grizzly mill that has that forward and reverse switch on there. I mean, I could put, I could probably redesign that and just design relays in there instead. Maybe tap into the spindle control. I could turn this thing into a fully automated tapping solution. And that would be, you know, considerably more useful yet. So, if any of you guys are interested in that, or might be interested, you know, please let me know, because if I get enough interest, you know, maybe I'll do that. So that was a short one there. You can see that it just went into pause mode. Short distance to that hole. Since these are small holes, um, I can just chuck it into the chuck there. You see that corrosion on my nice Shars tool? my drill chuck there. Man, I, I paid a guy to help me out for a while doing some machining and this guy had acid sweat. I play guitar, so if you've never heard of that before, it's a real thing. Uh, I've had, I've seen other guitar players just destroy guitar strings with their acid sweat. But this guy, any tool that he touched just rusted like that, man. I'm so, so bummed out. And that's it. I'm only going to show you those uh, four holes because there's no point in dragging this out any farther. But uh, do let me know if I can help you guys out with anything. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks again. Take care.